Hello everyone and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how can you make your own uh, shooter game on Scratch. So this will be a you know a series because it took a very a very long time to create a shooter game. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how can you make your shooter game. This is the part one, so it won't, you know, be in full process. So yeah, so first let's create a shooter. So let's get rid of this cat. And then let's call this costume. Let's just make it costume one because Let's name this sprite player. Then after that, we're just going to create a shooter. So let's add an outline, just like a little outline. I'm just gonna scale this whole thing down just a little bit. Then we'll draft lines from here to here. And then we'll make a square. So that's how you create, you know, simple shooter. Then you can fill in the color. So I'll choose gray. Then right over here, I think I need to convert to bitmap, but right now it looks like 8 bit. So how can I fill in this thing? So yeah, I always use this method when I can't fill something. So first I make a square, take out the outline, and then something like this. So yeah. Okay, actually, I did a very messy things right now, but yeah, this is my best now. Oops. So yeah, let's get started with the script. So let's go to code right over here and get some events, show, flex click, show, and we'll, you know, We'll do anything about the control first. So here's some little techniques. You can, you know, you can right click and then you can duplicate the block. And then you can do something like this, repeat block. Well, something went wrong. Well. Then let's change these, you know, these keys to the right click key. So right over here, we're done with, you know, the key, you know, and then let's create some motion. So here we are, we got the motion, and it worked. Then let's make it rotate. So you can use like point toward, or maybe use like A and D, but I'm just going to use point toward. There we go. Point toward, no, point toward. Perfect. Then we need to add like a little bit of script point and direction start here. 
There you go. Thumbs may get a nurse sprite call uh layers bullet. Uh I just gonna call it bullet for short. Then let's go ahead over here and set the color. So it and then well put the square and there we go. So actually it's very tiny. So let's scale it up like a little bit. There we go. And we're just gonna script this whole thing again. Then we're just gonna duplicate this and add in our control if mouse down, then we're just gonna create a clone of the bullet. So right now I'm just gonna add the cooldown button. Let's create a variable called uh, for this display only. Wait, for all sprite. Say gun and down. Then we can set it right over here. Set gun cooldown to first. Let's make it zero point point twenty five right over here. And wait for that amount of time. Let's go to bullet. So let's make sure again that it's in the center. Okay, it's in the center. Then let's go ahead and make an event. So we're just gonna hide this when the game starts. And then right over here, when start as clone show and pick repeat until. And put delete this clone right over here. And in this, you know, in this condition, we'll create a uh, touching edge. Then we'll set the property when you know when it start generating or shooting. Point and direction. Let's go to sensing and drag this block right over here. Switch it to player. Use direction. Put it right over here. Go to motion and drag. Go to let's go to player. And it is to move for 25 steps. There, there we go. So now it's perfect right now. I think it's actually perfect though. But right now, you know, it's in front of the sprite, so let's fix that. It's gonna go to looks, go backward for 99 layers. And you got this. So right now, as you can see, now it's the bullet is back. It's actually behind the sprite. Then let's do on the loop. So the speed on um, the V I think I'll create a variable called a uh, gun speed. There we go, gun speed. And we can set like let's say in player for now let's player. The gun speed should be like Ten for the starry gun, I think. Gun speed, and we got this. So now it's good. Now hold on, I need to go to the project page prevent error. You know. So now it's actually good now. Yeah, it's pretty nice. No, I didn't make. No, this is like you know. I think. 20% of the process or maybe 10% I don't know so yeah that's it for today video I just gonna end the video here because actually it took so long now yeah also make sure to go ahead and subscribe like this video and share with your friends also don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions or questions